Hi, I'm David, your developer on duty, and in this video we're gonna see what's new in Helix 2303. In previous versions, and also the default and the newest version, is that long lines are not wrapped. That means if you have a super long line, you have to scroll to the right to actually see it. Now you can set the soft wrap enable flag to true, and lines are now soft wrapped. And by the way, you can see this symbol here, this uh, soft wrap symbol. This is now virtual text, and there's a new virtual text API, which can also be used for other purposes. It's not a real character. Also, the next new feature makes use of this virtual text. It's called inline hints, and uh, here you can see a simple TypeScript file. Now, if I set display inline hints to true, now you can see the arguments when you call a function, uh, what arguments you have provided. You can see the type definitions. In this case, it takes a foo, returns void. And uh, when you have variables, you can also see the type of them. And all this text is virtual text. Helix now has initial support for LSP snippets. So I'm here in a Rust file. And once I write standard fs, let's say create directory, now the cursor jumps to the right position and I can do the appropriate uh, thing. Now this is just an initial support for LSP snippets, but in the future there will be also features like virtual placeholders, multiple tab stops, or variable substitutions. We now have a new workspace symbol picker invoked with space S, and it gives you the ability to search for all symbols in your workspace, for example plus one, but for bigger projects, you probably have too many symbols in the first place, so this picker will use the language server to narrow down the results. You can now add information about your version control in your status line, for example, here on the left. I'm now in the main branch, and to enable that, you can open your configuration, and in editor status line, you can add version control somewhere. Here I did it for the left. Helix now has support for the enhanced keyboard protocol, if your terminal supports it, for example, Kitty or Westerm, then you can also use Control slash or Control h as a key binding. This wasn't possible before. But of course, there are tons of other changes. Please have a look at the change log for a complete list, in particular the breaking changes section for more information. Helix gets better and better, and the out-of-the-box experience is great, especially compared to other modal terminal-based editors like Emacs, Vim, or NearVim. Personally, I haven't yet made the switch because I desperately need a plugin system, for example, to run and debug my chess tests. Of course, the Helix team is actively discussing plugin system, but it's a hard problem to come up with a good one. WebAssembly would be great because it's language agnostic and gives great isolation, but introduces quite a lot of overhead. Let's see what the future brings. I'm excited. Post in the comments what you think of Helix. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.